Welcome, Dr. Woody Lane. There is something I do want to say. And I think it's the most important thing of all. I mean, we're talking about breeds. We're talking about various things like that. But I am a nutritionist. And over the years, the one thing that I have clearly, to me, drives everything is a decision every sheep producer makes. Every sheep producer makes. Well, if, they have, if they're lambing anyway. If they're bought and sold lambs and put them on pasture, put them in feedlots, it's different. But anyone who's got use, every producer makes it. When do you lamb? I lamb in January. Okay. Every producer, every shepherd who has used makes that choice. I'm not saying January, but somewhere in the year they're going right. to lamb or twice a lamb, whatever. When you make that choice of when you're going to lamb, you've defined the entire nutritional calendar of the year. Yes, right? Absolutely. And looking at the nutrition of ewes, their highest requirements are in, during early lactation. And they're even higher when you have twins or triplets, all right? Yes. Their second highest is late pregnancy. That means when you lamb defines when the, you need the best quality feed. If you define this and if you decide to lamb in the winter, that means you have to have high quality feed at a time it's not growing. Okay, that's a, that's fine. You could do that, obviously. But right. you're making that choice and recognize that you're struggling with getting that, storing that, finding it, buying it, whatever the case may be, but you got to have it. If you make it at a different time, say in early spring, you still got your late pregnancy you got to deal with, but when you get to lactation, new stuff is growing. If you have the market, if you've got the breeds, I mean, all that factors into it. But when you make that decision, you have to make it very, very carefully. And the one thing that we have as sheep producers or goat producers over the cattle folks is that we've got a period of about 15 weeks in the calendar year where they're where the animals are on maintenance the lambs are gone they're not pregnant they're just eating feed and jumping fences okay right. during that period you can do a lot and then that gives you a lot of flexibility to move your lambing date plus or minus wherever you want to do it you can wait two months one year whatever the case may be right where cattle can't because they're either pregnant or or, or lactating or both their entire life once they stop being heifers. There is no, there was no blank period. That, to my mind, is the most important, regardless of breed, regardless of every, the most important because your feed requirements, 65, 70, 75 percent of your whole budget has to do with feed. I don't yeah. mean the out-of-pocket expenses for minerals. I mean the land that you're, the fencing to put the animals out there, the barn to store stuff, all the labor. All the times you're moving manure and stuff like that and, and, and cleaning the barn. All that really has to do with feeding animals. When you're going to feed them and what you're going to feed them is determined by their production needs, their nutritional needs, which is very predictable. And the key point is when they land.